gentlemen, here on a Wednesday, Hollywood and Kiv coming to you. This will start Group B of the Madden Challenge. Of course, we'll get updates from Zach Farley with what's going on in the Draney and Dubby game. And this is you, insane. This is and bananas. <laughs> and we've been throwing the, the word youth around. Yeah. Uh, you know, all over the place in this tournament because everyone's so young. These are two guys that are a part of the original youth movement. I mean, they were making these tournaments when they were 18 years old, super young, making cash, and they've been consistent for the last three years. These are two of the best young minds we have in the Madden community. It's team versus versus top Madden. Here to start Group B. And dropped on the outside of being up second and ten. Yeah, and shout out to Team Versus. That's the organization that sponsors Hollywood. They help them get to some of those challenger events. Uh, they're, they're constantly doing what they need to do. They hook them up with that banging hoodie that he's rocking up there on stage. And both of these guys are actually part of TopMadden.com, which That's is a true. website where they sell ebooks, tips, tricks. And if you like what you see, you better go check that out because that's got 10 of the best Madden players in the world uh, giving you uh, information. See the heat coming off the outside. That's Gilmore. He's the former Gamecock as well. So you got Clowney out there. You got Gilmore. I was back when the Gamecocks were winning this. Let's go! It's a big defense for Kiv. And Kiv, I should call it out, statistically, he blitzes the most out of any other competitor in this competition. So he's known to send the heat. And good example of it right there. So third and 18. Here for the 17. Good read. And a nice touch on that one with the playmaker. And that's going to leave him two yards short, but now it's fourth and manageable. Yeah, when I look at Kiv's numbers, he's blitzed in 65% of the time, Coltrane. So Kiv's not that's afraid. That's a trend that hasn't stopped for him over the last three years. Yeah, he, he's known for having some of the best blitzes in the community, and that, like you said, that hasn't changed in 65%. He's sending the dogs. Big play, though, fourth and two early on. See what both these competitors dial up here on the opening drive in this one. And golf pulls it in at the 48-yard line. Mm. What a crispy, crispy comeback route right there from Holly. You don't see that every day. Kim stuck on his offensive line, on his D lineman right there. Not able to work, but I don't think it would have mattered. That was a hottie dotty right there by Hollywood. Hunt says, get off of me. Crosses the 50 at the 49. How, this is a different Hollywood that we're used to say, seeing. Last year, Hollywood was known for airing the ball out, could slang the rock all over the field. He's now taken on a rushing approach, and he's got the number two rushing yards per game and uh, rushing yards average per game and per attempt uh, out of anybody in this tournament. So he's a heavy runner now. Nice find on the outside to the 39-yard line. Good-looking opening drive here from Hollywood. You feel like this is one of these games where these guys are so evenly matched that it come down to a takeaway. Or, or, you know, sometimes it comes down to do you get the right animation or not? Because they're that close in town. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right about that. When you get the competitors like this, when they're so close, it's like those MMA fights, you know, when they're evenly matched and the fight's not going anywhere. You, you know what I mean? And so first to 10 now, stretch play to the outside for Hunt. Will move to the 32. It's going to bring up second and three. But I like that Holly's in this single back ace type formation. This 12 personnel. It's a balanced formation. One tight end on each side, a receiver on each side. You really don't know if he wants to run right, if he wants to run left, and he's also able to pass out of this formation, as you're seeing so far. Off the back foot, but that picks up the first down. Let's go to a game break with Zach. Scott, you know it's a great group when you've got the champ over on the other game. He is up 3-0 after getting a stop on Drini's first drive. W over Drini, 3-0. All right, so just a field goal game on that side. We're still knotted at nil. Here in this opening drive for Hollywood. It's already taking up nearly three minutes. Cuts it back to the 16-yard line. 
loving this single back ace formation from Holly. When you're seeing this formation, you got to watch out for the stretch, the dive, and then it'll mix in that skinny post play where you got those two wide receivers running post over the middle, really hard to defend. And then sometimes they'll come out in this tight goose close as well, which is also in the 12th personnel. Nice job picking up the Ooh. blitz. Davis comes oh up God, with a big me? touchdown grab, and Hollywood is on the board first. We haven't seen Vernon Davis in ages. Hey, that's the Thanksgiving edition of Vernon Davis. That's a good might item. And he got that item created in Madden when uh, Jordan Reed went down for a little bit. He had a couple big games this season. You see that picking up the blitz. And talk about it, a game of inches. You said it could have came down to an animation. Just a few inches off from that being a pick six right there. So now Kim trailing by a touchdown. We'll start the drive at the 28-yard line. Now you're about to see some prolific offense from Shea Kivlin. Young Kiv is one of the best passers we have in the entire community. He's a, he doesn't like to run the ball. He's about to come out. He's going to start slanging the rock. This is one of the best young talents we've had for the last several years. And remember, to make it here, he beat the champ Madden Classic champion and last year's Madden Championship champion, Michael Skimbo. Yeah, the number one player in the world at the time. A lot of people are saying maybe Dubby is number one now. He ended the streak. Yeah. He pulled the Kevin Nash. He ended. He ended. Uh, he ended Skimbo's streak of making every alive event in the MCS era, and Skimbo was one game away from making this event here. And Kiv popped him. Bunch to the left after he flips the play, throws toward the sideline, and that'll move the chains. Nice gain of 12. And to be fair, he didn't pop him or blow him out. No. It was a very close game. Could have went either way. There was a couple, uh, especially on that last drive, where you thought Skimbo was going to get the interceptions and just didn't happen for Michael Skimbo. Yeah, he couldn't make it happen. He was devastated. But, hey, Kiv capitalized, and he's here. And Skimbo's knocked Kiv out of the tournament plenty of times. So <laughs> you're a little bit happy for Kiv to see him uh, get over that hump finally. He puts in a lot of hard work. When Skimbo and Joke are already locked in to the Madden Ultimate League at the end of the season for finishing 1-2 in the Madden Classic. So really, these two guys right here need to get out of the group stage to build enough points to have an opportunity. Yeah, that's a really good point. They are in an awkward situation. Kiv got himself some points at that Seattle Seahawks Club Championship where we lost to Mike Killer Mike twice. in the finals. <laughs> well, Mike loves that Seattle Club Championship, of course in the Air Force, their traffic controller. Yeah, for those that don't know, all 32 NFL teams have a tournament where they crown a champion, and Kiv went for his Seattle Seahawks in two years in a row. Killer Mike got him. He's lost <laughs> to Killer Mike at that event in the final game. We'll see Killer Mike in Orlando, but right now we're in Los Angeles. Here on a beautiful Wednesday. Look at that pocket. And Pierre Garçon. Didn't know I knew French. Takes it to the 43. Yeah, both these guys, like I said, a part of topmadden.com. Uh, both been mentored by Problem, who we all know and consider the greatest Madden player of all time. They keep themselves in pretty elite company. Kiv had serious Mo with them, helping them get ready for the tournament. One of the best Madden players of all time. Well, as you mentioned, Hollywood, part of the esports team. Team Versus is loaded up with some Madden goons. You know, that's a spot me, please, AKG. I could, I could go on and on. Manny and the boys got him really representing up there in the Northeast. Look at Holly. I love Holly's attitude. We've seen. The man bun's gone, by the way. He's got, got the gone. threads yeah, yeah, now. He's got the threads. High snap. Play action. Looking to the end zone. Knocked away, and that's going to. Be the end of the quarter. We've already five had five minutes gone by. It's going to bring up a second and ten from the 30. What I was saying, what I like about Holly Scott is you never see him lose his uh, cool. He doesn't complain a lot at all. He is one player that is always focused at the task at hand about his business, and that's why he's been able to make five plus live events. Well, it worked for Prodigy in Group Whoa. A. Didn't say a lot. Let his game do the talking. It's the best way to do it, right? Gibbs on a drive here, though, trailing by a touchdown at the ball down to the 10. And for Holly, he's got five defensive linemen 
Bet he wish he had some more players in the secondary. <laughs> the way Kiff's slanging this rock right now. I don't now. know what Joey Bosa's uh, you know zone coverage is, but I, I can guarantee it's not 91. First and goal. Gotta that's watch a, that's a bit of a bar, you know. right here by Holly. I think it's a three-man rush. It's a bit of a bad break, RG. To, and first and goal from Let's the go. ten, but Eifert holds on. Touchdown, Young Kiv. Come on. Kiv <laughs> says, "Come on!" Not showing too much emotion. Just happy to be back into it. And like you said, this is an even matchup. Both of them very prolific drives to start the game. This is high-level Madden we got going on right here, Scott. Extra point is up and it's good. Take it a look again, RG. A little high point in the end zone. Yeah, look at that. Presses the Let's LB go. button when he throws it. That puts a little bit more arc on the ball. Gets it over. Holly's user defender. Eifert holds on to the ball in traffic. Ties the game up for the Kiva. How about Devin McCourty? Eifert just said, Get off of me. Get off me, McCourty. There's a return. Really Hooks has got some speed. Ooh. Tried to get to the sideline. Out of bounds at the 38. Yeah. Let's go over to Zach for a game break. Scott, they traded fumbles. Trini ends up punching it in. He's got a 7-3 lead over W. That's sad. Trini's one of the guys we were talking about a year ago. Oh, you called be there. You called it, my friend. Well, you knew the buzz in the community was like, hey, you know, two of the best players aren't even old enough to play. Of course, they changed that ruling. Now, you know, like you saw in the Spotto. 16-year-olds can now get into the competition. But we would have saw them last year if that was the case. Throw to the sideline. And he toe taps it in at the 40. Stay with that I feel like right. Holly's catching Kip a little off guard going into the game. Because like I know Holly likes to run the ball a lot. Everybody says he has one of the toughest run games. He doesn't pass a lot. But uh, Holly, he's, he's slinging the rock around just fine at six for seven. No big deal. Got himself a touchdown already in Kiv territory. You can see young Kiv, 78 yards in the touchdown. Hollywood, 67 in a touch through the air. A little more of the running game you see from Hollywood. Third and two now. That's a big play right here for Kiv. Needs to stop this first down, hold Holly to, to a field goal. Quick hike from Holly. He throws it to the end zone and Landry, oh. the juice is loose for six. Wow, Holly catches Kivin, a man blitz, keeps his pocket, keeps his poise, gets the post route over the middle, lets it rip to Jarvis. Big touchdown, look at this. One-on-one -on -one coverage over the middle. Landry beats him on the cut. See you later, Gilmore. Holly said, yeah, I, I run the ball, but I, I could pass too if I need to. Incredible route running, the separation. Leads to the touchdown. And now the band from Seattle's got to go to work. We got a coast to coast matchup here. Yeah. Little little New York and a little Seattle. Yeah, Seattle people root on the Kiva. And then you got the boogie down Bronx. Hollywood, that's where he's representing. East Coast and New York. Giants fan versus Seahawks fan. Let's just say the Seahawks have done a little bit better this year. Yeah, fair to say, right? Been a rough one up in New York. Three minutes to go in the half. Thompson on a swing pass makes it to the 25. I love that camera where we show them making all those adjustments pre-play. Sometimes you see them running the same play over and over again, but they're not really running the same play. They're making adjustments out of that play, turning it into all types of coverages, all types of route combinations. And it's by doing those pre-play adjustments that you're seeing when we go to that hand camera. Second and eight. Golf. Scrambling to the left. Not enough room to get your toe swag on there, and that'll lead to a third and eight. When you watch young Kiv play, you rarely ever see him throw into coverage. He rarely ever gets lurked. Makes some of the best reads in the community, one of the most prolific passing attacks. He's going to have to use it right here on third and eight. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go in the half. Golf. Steps oh up and delivers to T.Y. Hilton. 
It's a first down out of the 48-yard line. He really is like a prodigy, like a guru. Like, you know he's going to pass. You know he wants to air it out every down. It's hard to pass in Madden 18, and he just finds a way to be consistent, find the open man, stay poised, and it's why he's one of the best Madden players in the world. Big gain of 27 for T.Y. Hilton. Yeah, is he going to run the ball here? Can we just see a little bit of run? Keep him honest. He'll go to the run. Thompson. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Seven-point game, but Kiv's on a drive. Let's go to a game break with Zach. Scott, a punt was forced over here, and then Dreedy catches Dubby with his corner up, goes over the top to Keenan Allen. Five plays, 55 yards, 14-3. Boy, Dreedy. Here on the big stage. I feel like we've been talking about him forever. But now he's finally here and he's got W down 14 to 3. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool to see him and Joel, like you said, considered two of the best players in the community last year. Weren't old enough to compete. Old enough this year. Both set goals to make a live event this year. And both of them are here. Accomplished those goals. Now playing with house money. Trying to make that ultimate league and some extra cash. First down at the 33. It's going to come out of the bunch, put it on the right side. Go to Thompson. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's going to be second and 11. And that just speaks to these two, Kevin Hollywood. You got guys like Joel and Trini who have, you know, they finally made it here. They've been to one event. That's a big deal for these guys. And then meanwhile, Kevin and Hollywood are at their 11th combined <laughs> live event. <laughs> They got some credentials, those two. Absolutely. Second and 11 at the 34. On the edge of field goal range here, but he's looking for a touchdown with 90 seconds to go in the half. Golf, play action. They're able to pick up the blitz. Got to get rid of it. And T.Y. Hilton's oh. spin move. And he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Hilton hitting him with the fake out. Good blitz pickup like he called out. Look at the focus of Shea Kivlin. 20 years old, Seattle, Washington. He's not messing around. Kiv averaging 7.2 yards per play. He said, he said, hey, it's not cheap keeping this kind of style. He needs to keep winning these events. <laughs> keep the wardrobe up to date. I went crazy over the tiger jacket. It's probably just hanging in his closet somewhere that was now. Gucci. I think he was like, what was he, 18 years old, rocking some Gucci, swagging around at the tournament. Yeah, he's like, that's out of style. Man. We're not, we're not ready. Goes to Thompson on a stretch. He cuts Good it ball. back. And we got a tie game pending the extra point here in Los Angeles. And it's just like you called it, Coltrane. It's just such an even matchup. Prolific drive after prolific drive. Good read after good read. Take a look at it again. Nice cut back on the stretch. Yeah, it's good stick work right there. Mixing the run when you need to on the goal line. 14-14. It'll be interesting to see with this minute and 18 left right here. Can Kiv get that stop that we were talking about in the keys to the game? Cooks will take it at the three. Pass the 20. Take it down at the 31. Another game break with Zach. We're looking live at Dubby on the left, Drini on the right. And it is 21-3 after this here play. He fumble Ruskies, and who else scoops and scores but the Browns' first overall selection. Miles Garrett to the crib, 21-3. Well, Philadelphia's a oh. struggleville right now for Dubby. Big sack right there for Kev. And how about the age group? We got Drini at 18, Hollywood at 19 years old, Kiv at 20 years old, and W the oldest in the tournament at 30 years old. I'll be honest, we had some sleepless nights trying to figure out what was the featured game here in the first one. But yeah. these four competitors, I, I'm not saying we lucked out and picked the right one, but we got 14-14 here with 48 seconds to go in the half. Well, the pedigree of Kevin Holly is just so strong. Like we said, 11 combined live events. Uh, combined last year, I believe they made over $70,000 uh, in Madden money. Uh, Kiv made 45000 all by himself. Holly made move. 30. So 75 grand between these two players last year in the MCS. Under 30, only one timeout remaining for Holly. 
And he's going to lob this one up. Has a man. Oh. And he's inside the 10, down to the 5. Clock's on the move. That's how poised Holly is. Look at him. He gets a big gain. The clock's ticking. He's making moves. He doesn't even blink. He's composed. He reminds me of a young nephew. Former Madden great. One of the most composed players. Hurts and goal goes to the run. And that's where he's going to use his timeout with eight seconds remaining. So now you got to choose. You can try to get one more playoff or kick it through. He's going to try to get... Get one more in here, RG. That's yeah, going to be some sort of high ball. You got to watch kind of a deep post route over the middle. Maybe the running back leaks out. But you can't throw a pick and you can't take a sack. Yeah, he just throws it away. And I'm sorry, Josh Scoby, but he's going to have to settle for three. Scoby was not feeling it. No, he was, he was very upset with me about that. We got the call of game in Jacksonville. Scott says, looks like he's going to settle for three. Scoby said, hey, you don't he, settle for three. He put hands on me. Yeah, I'm he, not lying. Take three. Hey, he's, he works hard for those field goals. Eh? Scobie doesn't want to hear that. So one second remaining. And you know what? I'm sure Holly will take that three to be up 17-14. I mean, every time these guys have touched the ball in this first half, it has resulted in points. No bad reads, really. And like I said, this is just high-level Madden. They are playing the game the way it is meant to be played. Very impressive stuff from both of them in the first half. 17-14 at the half between Hollywood and Young Kiv here in Group B. And, boy, it's everything we thought it would be. Yeah, We've had scoring plays on each and every drive. The only difference is Hollywood had to kick the three as time expired there in the first half. Yeah, he's Hollywood is looking good. He's got his people back home in the BX, the Boogie Down Bronx, watching him. He told me, shout out his mom, Yolanda, and his little brother, Jeremiah. He got at me last time. I didn't give him a shout out. Shout out that time because they're going to be back at home cheering him on, and he looks good in that first half. But Kiv gets the ball to start that second half, so that's going to be a big opening drive. Let's go over to Dave, Rico, and Zach. Thank you, guys. We've got a 17-14 game at half, Rico. This has been everything that we wanted it to be. It's been back and forth. There's been the aerial attack, prolific, as RG would say. What did you see in that first half? Everybody basically held serve. Kiv got himself a half a stop by holding Hollywood to three there. It's all going to matter with what he does when he comes out in that second half on that opening drive. If he can put up seven, he'll take control of the game. Otherwise, we're watching a tennis match. They're going back That's and forth. That's right. Now, Zach, as this was going down, a really tight game here with Holly and Kiv, we have a not-so-tight game going on on our other stage. What's going on between Drini and Dubby? It has been wild. Huge plays, mostly from Drini at this stage in the game. Just moments ago, before half, we had an unbelievable play. Look at this. Dubby stepping up, no. trying to get back in the game. The interception, and he goes, believe it or not, all the way home with zero seconds left just before the half to go up 28 to 3, a.k.a. the same score that the Falcons choked away against the <laughs> Patriots in the Super Bowl, if you forgot. But that's about the blowout level we're at over there. Well, ne never forget. Thank you for bringing that up, yeah. Zach. I appreciate that. Now, since we're, since we're on that topic, let's go to another Madden tip from our man, Z Farls. What's up, gamers? Z Farls here to teach you how to play like a pro in Madden 18. Today, young Kiv stops by to show us how to pass. Passing is hard for new players, but everybody wants to do it. Here on this play, Young Kiv shows you how to target short throws across the middle for consistent reads. At the snap of the ball, you see the X receiver on the left side of the screen. You go right across the middle, and he lays down without taking the hit. After attacking the defense short, Young Kiv looks to set up his opponent and go for the deep ball. At the snap, you're going to see Russell Wilson use his mobility to break outside the pocket and finally, Young Kiv goes deep downtown, Tyler Lockett, 4-7. If you can consistently attack the short middle and then look to go deep, you can join Young Kiv in the Madden Championship Series. Charles, I love that tip because we we've seen that in practice today. We've seen guys breaking containment, getting out of the pocket, letting their receivers get open. Yeah, you have to, and I swear if I run into another player online that's new and they call play action tight end corner, and they just <laughs> consistently try and throw the ball the tight end only, it's very difficult. So what you have to do is just throw those drags. I know it's not fun. I know it's not great. I know you want to go deep, but throw the drag and then 
deliver the ball downfield, Rico. You've got to get these kids up to speed if they want to be in the Madden Championship Series, you know? Ask Joel. It's chess, not checkers. That's right. Coach them up, guys. I love it. I love it. Well, if you want to get coached up, you should head to youtube.com slash EA Sports to get tips and tricks from all the Madden pros. We are going to be here with all of the Madden pros all the way through the end of the week. Tomorrow, we'll have the wild card games and the semifinals. Friday is going to be the finals. We're going to crown our Madden Challenge champion. But before we get there... Adrian is on the sidelines with Hollywood. Adrian? Indeed, I am here with Hollywood, who has a 17-14 lead over Kiv. And I know Kiv had beat you twice in Madden 17. So what is giving you the edge, even if slight, in this competition? I think that I'm just keeping up with him. He Usually his offense is, like, really high-powered. So he's, like, really hard to stop. So I got to just keep up with him. If I can't get a stop, I just got to keep up with him and control the, the, the tempo of the game. And so far, how would you evaluate your playbook? Uh, I really like my playbook that I have. I like the offensive choices that I have. I could go to different formations and run the ball at different formations, so I really like it. And when you're sitting, competing here, are you as cold as you are right now on stage? Uh, yes, I am. 100%. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Back to you guys on the, <laughs> on the set. All right, thank you so much. Second half coming your way. Well, we thought it was everything it was going to be, right? These guys are so equal in their journey so equal in their talent they both like to do some of the same things and we're going to see in the second half who can make that step right who can take the lead here in group b you see what drini's doing right now he's the one to beat who's going to be the one over here that sort of is going to match drini yeah and this sets the tempo for the whole group you can start off groups one and oh and only one person doesn't get out of the group you're putting yourself in good shape going forward both kevin and holly know how big this game is and I'm not going to lie. That versus hoodie is nice. It's, like, it's I, tough. I, that is a nice hoodie. I need to figure out I where reached I out to Manny. I was like, uh, double X, can I get one of those? Yeah, shout Pretty out sweet. to versus sponsoring a bunch of Madden players, and I love to see that. The organizations get we behind need it. these I guys. I mean, that's a coin W, but we need it. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what's going to help the sport and competitive gaming uh, grow, and we love to see it. Holly doing a good job representing. All right, first and ten here in the third quarter. Ball's going to be placed at the 41, and this is going to be a huge opening drive for Kiv. You know, he's sort of a field goal is almost as good as a stop sometimes. Now, if he can go down and get seven, then now he has the advantage yeah, and, here in their third possession. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to be looking to do here. And you heard Holly. He said he's hard to stop, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> and here's a bomb to T.Y. Oh. Hill. And oh my, the young Kiva has done it again. Look at that celebration, just dives into the end zone, and Kiv is swagging. Right after Fall shows us the deep ball tip, Kiv completely bypasses the drag route, goes straight to the deep seam right over the middle. That deep third can't get there. Kiv lets it rip. Bouye is step Let's too go. slow. Look at the. Touchdown. Yeah, a little wanted, swag there I, I, at the end. I wanted to see the celebration. What's that one called again where he just dives on his face? Is it dead whale or something like that? <laughs> I, I don't want him to speak on it. I used to do that celebration in FIFA when I scored goals. It's a funny one. Which, which is not very often. Four-point game. <laughs> it only took about 11 seconds for young Kiva to come out of the locker room and take the lead. 200, the passing yards. Yeah, 224 yards, two touchdowns for Kiv, 177 and two touchdowns for Holly. Did they load it's, up Madden 16? Exactly. <laughs> you I was, know. I was, I was, oh! And Holly! there goes Hunt! Holly! Oh, 30, Got like five 20, there. 10. Swag it! And he will swag it in as well. Wow! That's so bad. Oh, Kiv getting frustrated. Oh, my God. Kip hits him through the air, there and there Holly gets it done on the ground. The and, then comes out. and I'll tell you, Coltrane, it is frustrating. Look at this again. Just a stretch, but he cuts it back inside. You know, sometimes when you hit your lineman, that'll mess you up. That time it bounced him inside, and he took it to the crib. Yeah, Kip, he's a defender, nowhere to be found. And that's a great way to lose football games. You get a big score to start coming out of the second half. You're feeling good. You got all the momentum. You're ready to rock. And then you let Holly punch you right back in the mouth. And now you need to respond. It's really frustrating. And Madden, momentum is a big thing. And if you're just going to give the momentum right back, after getting some of it. Like I said, that's a remedy to lose Madden football games. So first and 10 now at the 25, Thompson. 
will work his way to the 30. Let's take a game break here with Zach. Five now at Dubby, who's down in the red zone. Second and two, Kirk Cousins underneath. He's trying to get some points back on the board. Obviously, differential could still be a factor in this event. Three guys will get out of the four-person group. He missed the route deep downfield. Drini now just trying to hold him here. Third and two now. He's got Jarvis Landry split out left. Looks like corner strike coming. Cousins stepping up and takes a big hit. We'll get back to you, Scott. All right, so still a big lead over there for Drini. Third and 12 over here in a three-point game with 3.50 to go. Kiv needs to move the chains. Drini Joka, last name Joka. Putting, uh, putting hands over there on W. Oh, he got him again. Right back. T.Y. Hilton will give Kiv the lead again. It's an old-fashioned shootout, Coltrane. This is old-school competitive Madden. The scoreboard's lighting up. The passing numbers are stacking. And we got two offensive juggernauts in a slugfest. Take a look at this again, RG. Jared Goff with an absolute bomb. Boom. And Kiv said it. The keys to the game for him are he just needs one or two stops. And so far, no one's stopping anybody in this game. Well, right now, the biggest stop has been that Hollywood ran out of time at the half. He cuts it back. Oh, oh, oh keeping it bounced. Oh, literally just... See the look on his face. He thought he was going to break out there for a big-time kick return. We got three touchdowns in under a minute and a half in this second half, Cole Tree. That's what I'm saying. He loaded up Madden 16 while we were... If offense is business, business is good right now. So four-point game, 322 to go. This is intense. You called it when you said two evenly matched players. Second and seven at the 45. Hollywood trying to keep the pace. Stretches outside to Come on. Kareem Hunt, but he goes nowhere. Let's go for another game break with Zach. Scott, I'll be quick so you don't miss any touchdowns over there, but Dubby has scored, makes it 28 to 10 with 1.45 go to go in the third quarter. Still a lot of time over there. But down 18 without the ball. That's, that's a tough mountain to climb. Third and eight. Nice find there by Hollywood, who works Vernon Davis for the first. I don't know if we're really appreciating what we're seeing here. I, I don't think I recall these guys making a bad read throughout this entire game. And that's just so impressive when you're talking about competitive matter where you got user defenders lurking all over the place, people screaming at you on defense. But these guys are just so locked in and poised on offense, moving the ball like true professionals. Kiv had pretty much everybody within eight yards of the line of scrimmage there. And they Hold Kareem Hunt to a two-yard gain. Absolutely. Taking some chances. You know, they're bringing a lot of guys up in the box. Yeah, I mean, look at all those goons right there. Goon, 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 goon. There's no safeties. Deep back. Second and eight. Just can't drag the toes. It and even when it's an incomplete pass, it's, you know, there's almost it's the right read. Right. It was it's just a bit right too read. far outside. It's, uh... Third and eight. Goff looking. Come on, not that Picks up the out. first down on the playmaker. So oh, what's the difference between a grizzly and a goon? So a grizzly... You got to be big, right? You got to yeah. be some sort of mammoth. You got to be on the D line. Like right here, these are Grizzlies, right? But then you take some of these secondary players like Ronnie Lott, and that's a goon. First and 10. A couple of Grizzlies in there on the stop. Yeah, like a goon can be any size. You know what I mean? He's just yeah. going to do things, though. He's going to get it, make it happen. Grizzly, that's the beef up front. That's going to be a mammoth, though. Someone that's going to throw someone out their way. Second and six. 
If you came out with a Madden dictionary, I'd pick it up. <laughs> Close to the first down at the 27, but he's going to be just shy. It's going to be third and inches. It's funny. Speaking of Madden, I, I got to hang out with the big guy. One yeah, oh lifetime yeah. opportunity. I was talking to him about Tom Brady and how do you beat him? And he said, you got to get into a shootout. You got to be able to keep up with him. And it's funny he says that. That's, that's exactly what we're seeing here. It's like Kiv, this high-powered offense, nobody can stop him. But Hollywood just willing to get into this shootout. And so far, so good. He's keeping up, only down four. In the red zone. Yeah, we were supposed to do the New England Club Series together. Yep. And you said, I can't make it. And I go, you better have a good reason. And you're like, I'm going to meet John Madden. I'm like, all right, well done. Pretty well, good reason. Well done. Huh? <laughs> we'll get you at the next stop. Once in a lifetime experience was in the presence of a true guru, a person who's changed so many people's lives through the game of football, whether it's real football or the video game, a true legend. You know, we've seen a oh. lot of turnovers this week. Come on, Group A, now we're just getting started in Group B. We haven't had a turnover yet. I hope I'm not putting the announcer jinx out there. Here's a third and nine from the 16. This is awkward. I don't know if this is two down territory for Hollywood because field goal doesn't tie the game up. Wing oh. seconds of the third. Let's go. Looked like he had a guy. Rare missed read. Rare missed read right there by Holly. It looked like he had that corner route, but you don't want to make any costly mistakes, any turnovers, and he's going to take his three. So once again, he has to settle for a field goal in the red zone. Trailing by one now. The good news is if Kev goes down here and scores, it's still a one possession game if he doesn't go for two. I got a mind buster for you. <laughs> Whose hoodie would you rather have? Hollywood versus hoodie. What? It looked like Kip could have been out right there. Well, that'll be the final play of the quarter. We'll move here to the fourth. But Be between the verses or the fear, fear of, of the God, God hoodie? Yeah, fear of God. What a name, huh? Well, first of all, I don't think I could fit into either of them. No, I assume it's our size. Oh, okay. Size. So I, you know, we get, we had to choose something in our yeah, size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I kind of like the I kind of like the baseball. Little League look. The patch on Kim I like the patch. Is swaggy. It, it is very But swaggy. the team versus with the HyperX and all that, that's dope. Fashion, not an issue. <laughs> no, no. The first game here. You, get the, you get the youngsters in here. They're always swag on point. First play of the fourth quarter. It'll be a gain of one for Kiv. And we're just in Group B here, but this I feel like I'm calling the finals. Oh, this is fantastic, right? We're having a good time. And you know what? When you're watching high-level Madden, that's what's going to happen. You're getting to see two of the best players in the world. Millions of people play John Madden football, and these, like I said, are two of the very best. You're, you're getting to see gurus at work right now. Puts the bunch on the right. Slips it back to the left. Play clock running down. Golf. Thompson, Thompson with a juke, and he's oh, off to the oh, races. Oh, oh, oh. He gets tripped up there by Bobby Wagner. Oh. 13 for 15, 310 yards. It's a Jared Golf show out here. Here, young Drini in the other game, off to my, off to my right. A little bit disgruntled. Lucky had a big lead over there. We'll get a game break here momentarily. You know top dot Tuppy. He's known the fight. He's not the type of guy that's going to give up. Well, let's go to Zach with a game break. Dubby on fourth and goal. Quick throw right underneath no, the B. Bad a... user from Drini. And then, as if the extra point wasn't enough, he goes for two. 28-18, and Dubby is alive. So He's telling Drini not to choke. So I, I, you know, I watched Drini... You know, and Dubby stream on Twitch, and I've seen Dubby do that play several times. It's goofing around, but I guess when you're down that much, why not RG, right? Hey, and the fake field goal works. I yeah. Mean, people want to go for these kick blocks. If you're trying to block a kick more often than not, those fakes are going to work as long as you can execute. So, and I don't think enough people use those for how much people are actually trying to block those kicks. Remember last year, Skimbo sort of called it that he was going to pull one of those out. And he used it on the it biggest big. stage, on the bit with real money on the line. He busted out the fake field goal, executed it. 
that's what makes him one of the special best players that we have. Kim with the, the lead right now. and the ball. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have a timeout by Young Kiv here with 257. I know this is a big play, but a surprising timeout. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, huh? Well, you just want to make sure you get the right play out there. This prolific on offense, I'm sure Kiv plans on going down the field scoring a touchdown right here. Doesn't want to mess up the Serta to get himself in a fourth down situation. Lunch to the left, T.Y. Hilton solo to the right here on third and two. So the only these three linemen right here. I think it's too easy. If, unless he starts sending some of those linebackers in the 3-4, some of these goons right here on the edge, it's going to be too easy for Kip to roll out and find the open person. Looking for Holly to dial up some heat. And he's able to get a stop on the HP base. Pushes them back. Loss of one. Now fourth and three. You got to go. And this is it. This is a big play for Holly. Only down 1.2. So if he gets the stop here, just needs to get into field goal range. But young Kiv, he's the type of kid he throws three yard dots in his sleep, you know? It's going to be tough. Tough that's, to get that's off. That's the, the field. other thing. You, you, you're trying to guard from the three yards, and he might hit you over the top for seven. Yeah, he's got the trips on this side, so you got to watch the flood over here. But then the running back may also leak out over here. And that's going to be close. Oh. Allen with the grab. And Holly's going to use a timeout because it's a first down for Young Kiv. Look at the poise. Keeps the running back in the block. Waits for the crossing route. Look how close that was. Oh, that, was that was close. Game of inches, like you said. Forward progress. Puts him at the 40. He caught it about a yard beyond. The line to gain, but when he had gone down, he was right there on the line. Look how close Holly has everybody in the box. There's no safeties back here. Usually, if it's a two shot, you got a couple safeties hanging out back there. Nope. Holly's got them all. Looks like man to man coverage. Two timeouts in peace. They hand it off to Thompson. And he carries a few defenders down to the 35 yard line, second and five. Holly getting into those timeouts. Only one left right now. 217 left. It's getting down to the nitty gritty here. You're full on Bob Ross at this moment, right? I saw a vision cone. I saw a couple squiggly lines. I love it. A I absolutely more, love it. A little more intense, maybe. <laughs> a little happy bush down there, you know. It'll, it'll be our little secret. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love watching Bob Ross. Out there. But look at I that. I mean, the corner is just one on one. You got to watch out if you want to send Hilton deep right there. T.Y. gets double covered. Good defense. Try to cut it upfield with golf. Maybe third and five. And, and Got to be careful not to turn it over here, too. Craziest thing is I'm looking at the previous play, and Holly's in a Tampa 2 defense, a cover two, but the safeties are nowhere back there. Yeah, he's so bringing them up within eight yards of the line of scrimmage. And what that means is he's taking this Tampa 2 defense, and he's making all kinds of adjustments. You see man-to-man -man coverage out there. Uh, he's manning the safeties up. He's changing around the zones, running a hybrid-type defense. Big third and five here, Coltrane. Hollywood out of timeouts. Ten seconds before the two-minute warning. Kip gets this first down. Best case scenario for Holly is he can get the ball back with 30 seconds if Kip decides to kill all the clock. Oh! Over the middle, T.Y. There Hilton, and there's the first down, and we'll hit the two-minute warning. So remember, Coltrane, it's only a 30-second play clock, not your normal 40-second play clock here. So even if Kip wanted to kneel the ball, he can only take a minute 30 away, which would leave Holly about you know, between 25 and 30 seconds to get it done. You know, I thought we were moving toward, you know, a game in the 40s. But Kiv has really taken the air out of the ball on this drive. Two minutes to go, no timeouts for Hollywood. No stops this game either. I think it just came down to who had the ball last. Uh, holding Holly to that field goal. Thompson gets loose to the 16. It's going to bring up second and six. It's all about the clock right now. Yeah, and the other thing for Holly is even when Kip runs a play, the longer the play drags out, the worse it is for Holly. Each second is precious right now. So Kip's just going to let this play clock right here wind all the way down. 
when we talk about the clock management. Seeing it right here. Second and six. Takes it down to one. Right. And we'll go down at the 16. Let's get a quick game break from Zach. Scott Drini tried to give it away, but in the end, he held on, kicked a field goal right at the end, got a little bit extra point differential, 31-18 over Dubby. It's final. All right, so final over there, 13-point win for Drini without the headband, by the way. We'll no see bandana, him before huh? the... No bandana for Drini? No bandana, gang. He's come out. Just chilling, all about the win. For those that don't know, Dreen has been to a couple tournaments, bandanded up, swinging yep. around, taking a page out of Mills' playbook. And maybe that's it. Maybe he figures Mills is cornered the market. I mean, he is the original bandana, Mills. So, so now, we, yeah, here's the math, right? So, what are you going to have? About 18 seconds, maybe 14 after you kick the field goal. Well, the other scary thing is if you don't kick <laughs> it perfect on the field goal, you get your kick blocked. Run it back and lose the game. Run it back and lose the and game. Kev has been through that this year. He's been through that at the El Paso tournament that Tweez won to qualify for the Madden Classic. Look at that look. Yeah, he knows. That's the look of a guy that's had some kicks block. He knows. There's that little league patch you were talking about too. That thing's tough. We, we keep calling it. Little League. It says Big League. The Big League Fair of God patch. Look at the intensity of Kiv, though. Oh. Holly jumped off sides right there. I don't think... When you get that jump that you saw from this defender right there, I'm pretty sure there's no way you can get the kick blocked. Once you see him do that fake miss time, it's over. When the goon jumps, it's over. So those guys are goons. The guys on the outside, they have goon They're possibility. Definitely goon. They can block your kick. Scum. <laughs> 31 to 27. Now, four-point lead. Hollywood basically has to run this one back. I'm not sure I wouldn't. Well, let's see if he can get a play out of this. So the clock will stop with three seconds to start the possession. He needs to go 69 yards. Smart pooch kick. Pooch kick right there from yeah. Kev. Talk to Josh Gobi about that one. Sometimes you just want to keep the ball. We haven't seen a scummy kick. No scum kick. But you want to keep the ball out of, you know, a guy like Brandon Cook's hands, who's actually had some good returns. So kick it up high to those tight ends. Less athletic. Give him the ball around the 30, but less risk of a kick return. For He's going to put this on the ground, and that tells you a lot about Madden 18. It is so hard to throw it downfield. And that will be the final. You can see the relief on young Kim's face as he gets a four-point win over Hollywood in a shootout here in game number one of Group B. So young Kim and Trini take the first games. I know. I know. Welcome back. I assume I'm the Grizzly and you're the goon. I'm kind of grizzly. Kind of grizzly at the same time. Kind of goon, too. <laughs> well, that was a treat. It wasn't a treat for Hollywood because he ends up with the L, but young Kiv, Drini, get the wins. Now you got Hollywood and Dubby with already one loss. Yeah, and they're going to play each other. <laughs> they, you know, they got a rubber match. Those two are one and one yeah. in live event play. I don't but... know if there's going to be a jersey swap. We haven't figured that out, but yeah. <laughs> That's a funny story. We'll get to that <laughs> one later. Uh, but Kiv now moves on to 3-0 and against his good friend Holly in live event play. Uh, what a pedigree this young yep. man has. Showed you how to throw the ball. Amazing game by both of them. That was high-level Madden, Scott. Let's go down to Adria with Young Kiv. I am with Young Kiv, our fashionable friend, who's also the winner. 31-27. How do you feel? I feel great. I, I felt like I played pretty much perfect. I, I could have got a couple stops in the beginning, and I feel like I locked up at the end. I was able to hold him to three, and that was the deciding factor. I feel like I played a perfect game on offense. I controlled the clock when I needed to, and I, I converted some key third downs. So I feel really good after this game. And you play Drini next, and he's rather young. What do you expect from him? He's a great competitor. Uh, I've, I've played him a lot in the last, like, three years pretty much, and I know he's really good on defense, and he's gotten an offense this year. So it should be a really good game, and hopefully uh, I come out with the win. Fabulous. Congratulations. Thank you. To you, Dave. Thank you.